What's up guys, Heavy Metal Zombie here, celebrating our 200 subs here at our program, and um, as a reward, the second part of the celebration, we're going to uh, actually do, I'm actually going to do my first um, game collection video, and it's going to be uh, original Xbox, yeah, so uh, just uh, just to let you know, I've, I have more original Xbox games than I do Xbox 360, so don't expect, well, for that matter, don't expect too many because, you know, I'm more of a Sony kind of guy. But, uh, but you also, as a little treat, you also get a glimpse of the game room. That I'll be showing off in a much later video, but, uh, you get a little teaser at that. So, um, thanks for the 200 subs, thanks for the ongoing support, tell your friends, and let's get to it. Also, check out ZTK421Z at his channel. Great guy. Great crew member, and uh, he's getting some su support, so help him out. So, without further ado, let's get started. Up first, we have Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1. It's a pretty good game. It's before they, well, before they introduced uh, kill streaks and all that. Back before it was the Juggernaut, that is now. Up next, one of my personal favorites of all time, especially shooters. Counter Strike. There were also multiple versions of this on the PC. Better on 360, uh, not, not 360, Xbox, in my opinion. Great. Second copy of Counter Strike. I have three of them, actually. Deus Ex Invisible War. I actually have not played this, but I do remember when it came out. It was pretty big, and there's supposed to be a sequel coming out 10 years in the making. <laughs> Up next, we have another classic, Doom 3. Let me get it out of the glare there. I actually had the collector's edition at one point. Unfortunately, don't anymore, but... um. I actually never beat this game because I was so fucking terrified of it, and still am. Pretty cool though. Uh, it's kind of like a remake of the original Doom, a re in, in telling of it. Up next is pro is one of my favorite RPGs of all time, and definitely one of my favorite Xbox games. Elder Scrolls Three: Morrowind. This is the one that I first played. And I played this. I actually played and put more time into this one than I did Oblivion. And uh, my heart's with this one. <laughs> or at least until uh, Skyrim comes out. Up next, the original Fable. And in my opinion, the only good one. And in fact, this one is great. This is a great RPG. Uh, not better than Morrowind. But you can shoot lightning and as a good guy on here, so F and A, hell yeah. Everyone check this out. It's also on PC. Classic. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. One of the funnest games in the world. One of the biggest too. I say it's a toss up between this one and Vice City as my favorite uh, sandbox game. I don't know though. I might get to that in a uh, favorite video games review. Stay tuned for that. Up next is, in my opinion, the definitive Xbox game original Halo 2. My favorite Halo game and the last good one. There is nothing more to be said about this game. Up next is one of TK's favorites, Madden 07. I'm not much of a football guy, but there it is. Up next is another classic and one of the best mech games ever made. You can probably guess what this is, Mech Assault. I also have Lone Wolf. Which is the second one, but it's not here. But this is a classic. This is one of the better mech games out there. 
But if you can find Lone Wolf, which is the second one, get it instead. Up next is eh, Mel of Honor Frontier. Mel of Honor is, you know, eh, okay at best. So. But this one introduced uh, the four player uh, co op for the first time. So it was pretty uh, innovative. Up next is uh, Project Gotham Racing. In other words, Microsoft's Gran Turismo. I haven't played this because I have Grand Theft, uh, Gran Turismo 3 and 4. I'm a Sony guy. Up next, you guys probably remember this. It's the Sega GT-02 and Jet Set Radio Future Bundle. I think this came out in like 03, two years after the original Xbox's uh, release as a bundle pack. Up next is a fighting game that I have on numerous systems, which is, you guessed it, Soul Calibur 2. And that's because you get the exclusive characters for each of the consoles. On this one, it was, of course, Spawn, and he is awesome on here. The White Hornet loves him, and he's a god with him, so uh, don't fuck with him. I uh, also have it on PS2, which I prefer on, and you get Heiachi from Tekken, and he's Kind of underestimated because he doesn't have a weapon, but he's still good. Up next is Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow. I actually have uh, one or two other copies of this. Uh, got it for uh, System Link for uh, Spies vs. Mercenaries. Haven't played it yet, so I'll get to you on that one. Next is an all-time favorite, and uh, one that is still in my heart today. Star Wars Battlefront. Freaking fantastic. If you like Battlefield, pick up this because it's made by the same team. You even get the crazy vehicles and everything. It's awesome. Amazing. 9 out of 10. But up next is a perfect 10. Star Wars Battlefront 2. It is definitely going to be in my top favorite games of all time. And this game just will blow you out of the water. You can still pick this up and play it today and still have a ton of fun. Interesting fact, this game actually pretty much created um, perks in the fact that if you get so many kills in one life, you get uh, increased weapon damage, uh, uh, increased health, sprint, that kind of stuff. came out in 04, 05. It was pretty much the... Uh, well, you can t tell by looking at it, it was uh, heavily influenced by Episode 3. And this was more or less the better uh, game based on the movie. And this still gets a lot of uh, play around here, a lot. And thank you to um, Meeting Flipper. Thank you. He's sending me another copy, so thank you. Another Star Wars game. I take it back. This one may actually be better RPG than um, Morrowind, and that is the increasingly rare to find Knights of the Old Republic. F fucking classic. What what more can you say about it? I beat this game on like two or three occasions, all while being a Jedi, because that's just how I do. It's just me. Um, special shout out to um, Video Game Collector Twenty Two. Thank you. He is sending me the second one in the mail. I've been wanting it for a while. Thank you. Classic. That might actually be my favorite now that I think about it. Up next is a Microsoft and Atari juggernaut. One of the best shooter franchises in the world. That's Unreal. Except this is Championship. The console based one. On the Xboxes, you don't get the um, uh, tournament editions. You get championship, which is uh, more or less the, uh, very similar, just uh, compact. This was the first one. Uh, this dropped by the time I got it. I got it in like 04. It was like $2. So, still 
kind of fun. <laughs> it's really dated, though, really, because I still like this one. Unreal Championship 2. They introduced melee combat in this one. And uh, a lot of people were skeptical about it. Some of them said that uh, melee combat actually sucked, but I liked it. It was really fun. They actually introduced a, a perk-esque system in here, which was really cool. And the final game. What is it? Oh, okay. Okay. I wish I could say, and last, but certainly not least, but uh, at last, <laughs> X-Men Legends 2. I didn't get into this game very much. I didn't get into... Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance either. I'm a huge Marvel fan. I'm a huge RPG fan. It's just... Uh, I didn't like them too much. I don't know. But this one actually came out... The X-Men Legends series actually came out before Marvel Ultimate Alliance. So uh, these were kind of like the, the uh, spiritual prequels in a way. So there you go, guys. There you have it. A uh, collection of all of 24 original Xbox games that I own. Uh, it's not a very, very large uh, collection, but I was never the Xbox fan. As you can see, there were certain titles I collected and played for. But, you know, um, I, I still collect them. I'll, I'll gladly pick them up when I see them and whenever I have the opportunity. Yeah, because that's what collecting's about. But, uh... Once again, special uh, thank you to Meeting Flipper and uh, Video Game Collector 22 for sending me the Xbox games that I'm uh, wanting in question right now. That being another Battlefront 2 and a copy of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Um, thank you, and I will talk to you guys very soon. And um, thank you for the ongoing support and the 200 subs. The Q&A uh, video will probably be posted Sunday instead of Monday like I originally told you just because of uh, transportation and all of that uh, we're going to be in transit a lot of the weekend so uh, it'll most definitely be up Sunday and if not Monday so uh, make sure to bring me the questions still I've already got quite a few good ones so uh, make sure to continue bringing them to me I've gotten some really unique ones that I'm going to have some fun answering so uh, thank you Thank you all, and be well. Till next time, heavy metal zombie. All right, guys, and here you go. A last look at my original Xbox games collection. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I will be doing more of these uh, collection videos, without a doubt. Thank you.